what's the direction of the magnetic force on the proton? We have a proton kind of moving up and to the left. The magnetic field at its location is pointing to the right. Again, keep in mind, this is a magnetic field not due to that moving proton, but due to something else. What could be causing this magnetic field? Anything. Well, what could be over here? North, we could have a north pole over here. You could have a south pole over here or some, or some combination, right? So again, this is an external field, but we happen to have a proton moving through it. What's the direction of the force on the proton? Okay, so just about everybody says answer number six. We have a proton, fingers in the direction of the velocity, V. Got to kind of wrap my fingers around like that so I can curl them towards the second vector, and my thumb points into the page or into the screen, which is the negative Z direction. Okay, so the force is going to be on the, in the negative Z direction. Great. Let's try another one. An electron is traveling in the negative y direction. At its location, there is a magnetic field in the negative z direction. What's the direction of the magnetic force on the electron? I would suggest you actually draw the picture in your notes. Okay, well, you've got to watch the sign, right? This is an electron. This is an electron, so you got to watch the sign flip, right? Yep, that's it. So let's, let's draw it. Let's draw it. We have... X and Y and Z coming out towards us, positive Z. So if I have a proton that is uh, moving in the negative, or excuse me, electron, electron moving in the negative Y direction. So here's the electron, and its velocity is that way. And the magnetic field at that location is negative Z. So B is pointing into the board, we say V cross B gives me positive X, but I multiply by ch the charge of an electron, so the force is in the opposite direction, negative X direction. Okay, so the force is going to end up, force is going to end up that way. Okay, so answer answer two is correct. Okay, so be careful of the sign. Just, just like when we were doing magnetic fields, you had to watch uh, was the charge positive or negative. Same with magnetic forces, right? Is the charge being affected positive or negative? Okay? Qu yeah, question. If you want to do that, if you can remember that, go right ahead. <laughs> I, I would, I, you know, it, it's, it, sure, it would, it would work because you're doing the sign flip, right? You're, 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 base, you're saying the, uh, right? If you, if you want to keep an extra step in your head of remembering what hand to use depending on the charge, feel free. But if you mix them up, don't come crying to me, okay? The, I mean, I like to just say, look, any cross product is going to be a right-hand rule. But, again, just think about the formula here. You're multiplying by some scalar. If, that, it's a, if it's a positive scalar, then the vector you get is going to be in the same direction as V cross B. If it's a negative scalar, the vector you get is going to be in the opposite direction, okay? Other questions? Let's try one more. The proton is traveling in the negative x direction, and it experiences a magnetic force in the negative z direction. So we know the direction of the force. We're trying to work out a possible direction of the magnetic field that causes that force. So it's sort of the reverse question. If you know the velocity and you know what, what the direction of the force is, what could have been the direction of the magnetic field? Okay, we got a majority answer that says answer three, positive y direction. Let's test that out. If we have a proton here, and the proton is moving in the negative x direction, so the velocity is that way. If we have a magnetic field in direction three, the positive y direction, so let's say magnetic field at that location is that way, will that give us the correct direction of the force? We say V cross B, thumb points in the negative Z direction, which is what we stated, right? So force in the negative Z direction, that will work. 
Okay, and we don't have to, again, it's multiplied by a positive charge, so no flipping of the hand here. Forces in that direction. Is that the only possible direction for the magnetic field that could cause a force pointing in the negative z direction? What else could what else could we have? Anything? Yeah, you're, I see a hand move going from here to here, right? Anything that has a positive y component, right? So if I have a magnetic field, let's draw it in the same color here. If I have a magnetic field in that direction, right? V cross, uh, yeah, V cross B thumb points in. If I have a magnetic field pointing in that direction, V cross B thumb points in. What if I have a proton in that direction, proton moving in the negative x direction, and the magnetic field at that location is pointing in the positive x direction. What's the force? It's zero, isn't it? Because if you take the cross product of a vector or of two vectors that are in the same direction or opposite directions, so the same thing with if B were pointing that way, you get a cross product equal to zero, right? And we could show that by looking at the magnitude of the force. The magnitude of the magnetic force is going to be, well, the magnitude of the charge times the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times what? Sine, yeah, sine of the angle between those two vectors. So if the angle is 0, sine of 0 is 0, sine of 180 is Zero. Okay. Let's try another. So here's a current. Here's a wire. And it's got a conventional current running through it. And we've got a, pr uh, a proton moving parallel to the wire in the positive uh, y direction. And it experiences a magnetic force in the negative x direction. What's the direction of the conventional current in the wire? So you have to think through a couple steps in reasoning here. Talk to your neighbors, see what you think. Okay, well, we're, we've got a majority answer. That's good. Uh, positive Y. Let's try it out. If we have a current, conventional current, it's going in the positive Y direction, what's that going to do? That conventional current is going to do what? You have a current moving, it creates magnetic field. Okay, so we need to think about the magnetic field at the observation location of the moving proton. So here is the velocity of the proton. And I want to think about what the direction of the field is due to the current at this location. That's going to give me a magnetic field pointing in what direction? I swear, let's try this again. Forget the proton for a second. Here's an observation location in the same plane here as the, uh, as the current. What's the direction of B? What's the direction of the field made by the current? Into, okay, into the board, right? And you can get that a number of different ways. You can say I delta L cross R, thumb, thumb points in, or you can say thumb pointing in the direction of I, curl your fingers around, fingers curl in at that location, right? So we're going to get a magnetic field pointing in. All right. Everybody okay there? That's nothing new. That's old stuff. Okay, so now we have a proton here in the presence of a magnetic field pointing in, and the velocity is upward. So the force on that proton is going to be QV cross B, right? V points up, curl the fingers in, thumb points in the direction of the force that we want, okay? And then when you multiply by a positive charge, you still get the same direction. So it's got to be that, right? It's got to be a current uh, flowing in the positive y direction. If it were in the negative y direction, the field re direction would be reversed, and therefore the force direction would be reversed. Okay. 